So you can't focus even when you put your phone away. Your brain loves to pay attention to everything except for that textbook page that your eyes have glazed over five times already. I've experienced this plenty of times, but on my journey to become valedictorian as a varsity athlete, I honed the skill of focusing. I knew that the ability to focus is a superpower. It is what sets apart the achievers from the dreamers. Which one do you want to be? Well, everyone has the same amount of time, 24 hours a day but focus gets you more time. This efficiency is how I got a 4.8 GPA while maintaining eight hours of sleep every night. So if you want superpowers, here are the life-changing tips that I used daily. A team, it's time to get your head in the game. When I think of essays and textbook, I'm like, Bleh. that's why I don't wanna go back to school. So tip number one is don't read the textbook. What? Well, hear me out, okay? Listen to Hermione. It's so boring, right? And you don't know what's going on. That's exactly why you're losing focus when you try to read those large blocks of text. When we force ourselves to read the textbook, that's working against our dopamine desiring brains. So instead, what I did was I read the chapter summaries, any bolded words that the textbook writers graciously provided to us, skip to the back of the book to read practice problems and the answer keys, or just jump right into your homework and use that to guide what you read. Even if you don't use social media a lot, our brains are now trained to like little snippets of information. So by doing these kinds of things, you're kind of making bullets for yourself, structuring the information into these little buckets so it's easier and more fun, honestly, to focus on. Then when you kind of know the material, now you can go back and read your textbook to fill any knowledge gaps. When I read the textbook, after I've done this kind of warm up, I find it so much easier to focus because I actually know what the heck is going on. So it's not so daunting and boring to me. My first tip works with what we've got, which is shorter attention spans. This video is about focusing in general, but comment below if you want to know my hacks for how to increase your attention span outside of your studying sesh. What is one of the highest forms of focus? I'll give you a moment. Meditation, yes, yes, yes. But whenever I try to meditate, my brain refuses to focus and then I start thinking something's wrong with me. But the gentle meditation guiding voice says, if your mind starts to wander, don't stress. It's completely normal. Just observe your thoughts like clouds floating across the sky. So tip two is let the cloud go. Whenever I have an irrelevant thought pop up, I'll jot it down in a handy dandy notebook next to me, saving it for later. Currently, it's more of a ugly piece of paper. Either way, make sure it's physical paper you're using for your notes so electronics don't disturb you further. If you feel the sudden urge to check your phone or to look up your celebrity crush, let that cloud go. Acknowledge its existence and give it just enough attention it deserves in that moment by putting it in your notes. You can think of it as a fluffy white cloud drifting across your mind, -da -da, but it's distracting, right? So you whoop, extract it out, dip it into your pen C for later. I really like that guided meditations reminder that we should allow our thoughts to happen and not be upset at them. Because my struggle before was that when my mind wanders, the worst thing isn't daydreaming itself, but it's because then I get frustrated at myself. So be accepting of your mind and even proud of how ideas pop up because that means your brain is working. You guys are smart cookies. In fact, some of my best ideas come up when I am daydreaming, but I don't let that consume me. I write down my million dollar idea and let go of that cloud. But I get it, sometimes you're daydreaming of something cool like being able to water bend and time just runs away from you. So by the time you realize it and want to write it down, you've already wasted a lot of time. The solution is my time tracker workbook. I created this for you guys over the span of several hours and several days. So I really hope this exercise will help you take back your most precious resource, which is time. It'll be linked in the description and completely free. Imagine yourself running a mile. I hate running those four laps so much and it feels like it takes forever. So I'm constantly telling myself, I'm dying. Everything hurts, I'm dying or thinking about random things like the girls running in front of me. Now, what about a sprint? When we did sprints in gym class, I see that finish line straight ahead of me and I give it my all without a single thought distracting me. Why? 
First off, I already see bliss at the end, it's insight. Second, I simply don't have as much wiggle room or time to get distracted. I literally have a beeline to my goal. So tip three is to run sprints, not miles. Whatever your schoolwork is, reading the textbook, writing an essay, finishing a math set, set goal posts with shorter distances between them. Make the distances small enough such that you can easily see the light at the end of the tunnel and you can run faster and more focused toward it. You can therefore work more efficiently because you're having fewer thoughts about how much this sucks. I really don't like essays. So my goal post would be to write the outline or simply the introduction. Once I accomplish that little thing, got him. Got him. <laughs> then I can go take a break, reward myself by annoying my little sister. And it makes it so much more exciting to do that smaller task. So my attention isn't wandering as much. The anticipation of your reward being so close makes you more focused. However, 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 so many study videos say set a timer as if that 15 minute timer is that shorter distance before your next goal post. Personally, I think this is a terrible idea. I never set a timer unless it was for a mock test. Why is this bad? Because there's another thing that you can constantly check. So it does the opposite of helping you focus for me at least. By the way, team, this focus video took me over a month to think about and make for you guys because I want to give the absolute best tips I have from my experience. So please drop a like and hit the subscribe button so I can keep putting in so much effort to help you. I used to be so concerned about how many likes I'm getting on an Instagram post. So naturally I had the urge to continually check my phone, but then I'd end up scrolling because I'd be like, oh, who's this person? Oh, what's she wearing? And I'd forget why I opened my phone in the first place. Guess what helped me become focused? I stopped giving a crap. You have limited time, energy, and focus, but you know what else you have limited of? Craps, craps to give. This is your limited capacity of caring. The more random, unimportant things you care about, the less care and therefore focus you can give to the important things like studying. For all the peeps out there who'd rather me say give an F, this is rated G. I'm sorry guys, my personality is rated G. <laughs> this is your mantra, drown out the haters. Stop caring so much about what people do or what they think about you. Most of us fail in life because we're afraid of what everyone around you is thinking. And this didn't happen overnight. It took me practice to stop caring about certain things. You can start by taking a step back to become aware of what kinds of things are taking up your brain space and decide if that's important to you and your future success. Stop caring about celebrities or the latest Netflix show because that's not your life. This fourth tip also helps to focus more when you're doing homework in class, which I always, always, always recommend. Like Aubrey said here, thanks Aubrey for watching my videos. She's struggling with focusing because her friends distract her and it's loud. So I recommend to set boundaries and communicate. Tell your friends that you want to focus on doing homework right now. First off, it's important to make friends with the people who share the same values as you. So given that, they should understand and stop bothering you. Sean, my roommate, is always surprised at how he can watch football and I'm working like it's not even there. So I basically train myself over time to drown out the loud noises, the other things happening in a classroom, because I put my care from external things into what's in front of me. To do work in a loud room, you almost have to become hyper obsessed with what you want to do. I can say from experience that on the bright side, your brains, like your muscles, are able to be trained. So put all four of my tips into practice and I guarantee you will see dramatic differences to your focus, your grades, and ultimately you acing life. If there's something I didn't cover, comment below and I'll try to answer it. Your teammates will also be there to help you as well. Remember that my free time tracking exercise is linked in the description box. Yo, so focus is great and all, but what if you really struggle with test taking so you still can't get good grades? If that sounds like you, then check out this video to see my tricks for how I take tests quickly and accurately. Till next time, Bing. <laughs> bye.